All right, so here we go. Back to what I was saying now, that we're back on track and we're not going to be interrupted anymore. All right, your customary units. How you measure things. You measure things with inches, feet, yards, miles. All right, you weigh things with ounces and pounds and not grams. All of that is metric. And then we do tons. Everybody with me on that? All right. Then we can measure liquid. We measure liquid with cups, quarts, pints, gallons. No, all of those are metric stuff. The liters, the grams, all of that's metric. We're talking about if we looked on our cartons in our grocery stores, they would be in liquid ounces. Right or pounds. All right, that's what we're talking about here. We did a little unit on the metrics, but right now we're just talking about how our nation measures things. All right, now on most cartons they'll tell you milliliters and then they will tell you cups or ounces. All right, sometimes they'll say pounds and sometimes they'll say grams. All right, so bear with me. All right, so what we're doing now is we're just trying to say, hey, what unit would we use? What you mean? Isn't that like the thing for the metric unit? It's like, isn't it like King Henry? Yeah, yeah, but that's not what we're doing. Oh, yeah. All right, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. That's the conversion. All right, from one to another. But right now, we've talked about this. Now, I don't know what the side uh, or the, the width of a sidewalk is, but we would measure it in what? Yeah. In feet. All right, we might be able to measure it in yards, but yards would be really wide. You and me? Yards is three feet. All right, so, so again, the width of a sidewalk can vary. You wouldn't want to measure it in inches, that's too small. Yards is too big. A good measurement would be feet. All right, so for number one, everybody put down feet. And how long is meters? Um, meters is metric. That's what I was trying to tell you. We're talking about how we measure things. Like if I go overseas, most people in other countries use the metrics. And the metrics is actually a little better because it's all just powers of 10. You know what I'm saying? But for example, I don't know how they got 12 inches equal to a foot. I don't know how they got 3 feet as a yard. I definitely don't know how they got 5,280 feet as a mile. You with me on that? All right. So again, those are just some odd numbers, whereas the metrics, everything is a power of 10. All right. So in my opinion, it would be easier just to do that. Same thing with gallons and quarts and pints and lead and not liters, but uh, cups. All right. Please listen now. These are all important units that you should kind of be familiar with. So number one we said was feet. What? Number two, you would say... Gallons, right? I have a twenty thousand gallon pool. All right, that's the that's the most they got. Not the most, but that's there's nothing bigger than a gallon. All right, in the custom room. Right, they would they would say gallons. All right. Number three, the weight of a truck. Tons. Generally, you measure in tons. That's exactly right. All right? I'm just doing it. Yes. Capital T. I'm just writing right. out the word. That's good. Perfect. No, I'm, I'm totally happy with that. The distance across Lake Erie. All right, that would definitely be one. Oh, yards. Miles. Now, it might be yards because some lakes are what? Small. But I think... Lake Erie is one of the Great Lakes, yeah. right? So the Great Lake is huge. So we say miles. He's correct. If it was a smaller lake, we might say yards. And to be honest, do I really even care? I don't really even care. Did you put stuff like that on the test? Uh, no, I'm not going to put that on the test. This is the stuff that's going to be on the test. All right? What? In purple, like a yard doesn't seem like a huge But if you take it literally, like my foot is really a foot, all right? So again, 
you're, you know, that's why I thought it was kind of weird. Mm -hmm. But, so again, a yard really is a right? But definitely one you want to speak to as well. Okay, so now, listen, here is where we were going to try to make you look things up, all right? But if you don't know, instead of looking it up right now on your iPad, which you can do tonight if you forget, right? Because on the iPad, like if you forgot how many quarts in a gallon, it's four quarts to a gallon. So now listen to me. Hold up. Hold up. This is the important part I need for you to understand. Listen to me now. This is uh, something you should just say that's obvious. If four quarts is one gallon, and I... And if I have 12 gallons, then I have 48 quarts. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. Now, I can draw that out if you're not sure. Thomas, does that make totally good sense to you? One gallon has four quarts. So if you have 12 gallons, you have 12 four quarts. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? All right. So if you forgot that there are four quarts to a gallon, you should write that down. Four quarts equals one gallon. You should know that. Now, I already gave you the hint to this. Do you remember what I said? How many feet in a mile? No, no, no. 5,000? 5,280. So I want everybody has to write that down. Listen to me. Everybody has to write that down. One mile equals. 5,280 feet. That's okay. I'm totally fine with that. One mile equals 5,280 feet. I never understood when I was uh, doing these problems how kids had trouble. If I have eight miles, that means I have eight 5,280. Does everybody agree with that? Which is? 42,000. So everybody write that down. So we just did 8 times 5,280. 42,000. Really? 42,000. Or you can type it on your own calculator, 5,280 times 8. Did everybody hear me? You good back there? You guys, I mean it now. I don't, I, I don't want you just telling somebody the answer and then just write the answer down. I need you to say, hey, that's kind of obvious, right? You have one mile is 5,280, so you have eight of those, eight times 5,280. Now, something that is a little peculiar, can I tell me the ratio of pounds to ounces? Yeah. What is it? So it would be 16 yeah, ounces very good. to a pound. Very smart. Very smart. That's kind of a weird unit in my opinion, too. 16 ounces is equal to one pound. Everybody write that down if you forgot that. 16 ounces is equal to one pound. Now, I always tell kids you either have to multiply or you have to divide. In this case, what am I doing? Divide. Dividing, because I'm dividing the 72 ounces into what? 16. Which is 4.5. 4.5 pounds. 4.5 pounds. Thomas, is that right? Now listen to hear, hear what I'm trying to say, because I do think this is Good mental math exercise. Diesel, do you understand what I mean by why I divided? Do you understand why I divided? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw it out for you just to make sure that you understand what I'm saying. Yes, we did. All right, so here's what I'm going to do for you. All right, and, and this really kind of helped me out. All right, so I have 72 ounces. I'm going to put down... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You hear me? Yeah. And I'm going to count all the way to what? 72. 72. Now, because of my iPad, you see what I'm saying, right? So right there, that's 48. And just watch me. 48. Um, that's 64. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's 72. Yeah. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Now, each one of those is an ounce. Do you agree? Yeah. Now, look. Honestly, I, I, 
I always try to tell kids math wasn't just something I was just born good at. I had to figure things out. And and I thought it was, I know it sounds kind of weird, but I thought it was kind of fun to try to figure things out. All right. So when my teacher told me that, I couldn't just see it was automatically divide. I wasn't like that. I had to look at that and say sometimes I would have to count out 72 and say, okay, every 16 of them makes a what? A pound. So I would do what? I would circle... 16, and that would represent what? One pound. Then this would be what? Two pounds. Then this would be? Three pounds. And this would be? Four pounds. So I knew it was not five, but more than four. So then I had to realize, well, there's eight left over, right? Which eight out of 16 is a half. That's why it's 4.5. All right, does everybody understand that? I think that is a very important exercise. All right, being able to convert numbers so you understand it is the main thing that I'm working on. Everybody with me? All right. Um, now, 3.5 cups is to how many fluid ounces? Oh, so there's in a cup, I mean in a fluid, there's eight fluid ounces in a cup. Very smart. So How did you know all that? Uh, Just from the old class. Yeah, yeah that's like very song. good. Very so, good. So listen to me. I need everybody to write that down because most people do not know that. That in each cup, one cup has eight fluid ounces. Now, why do they call it a fluid ounce? And on the other one, the pounds, we just said ounce. Can anybody tell me? Fluid ounces are wickle. Yes, that's all there is. That's all they're talking about. That's all it is. Very simple if you think about it logically. All right, did everybody write down there's eight? Right, so if you have three and a half cups, why don't you tell us? So if you have three and a half cups, so then you do 3.5 times eight? There you go, buddy. 3.5 times eight. Tell me what that'd be. Yeah, so we'd say 28 fluid ounces. 28 fluid ounces. All right, is everybody happy with that so far? Is everybody agreeing with me? Okay. Not too bad. Uh, seven is pounds, 4.5 pounds. Do you agree with that? All right. Let's look at number nine now. It says a pitcher contains four cups of pancake batter. A cook pours out five fluid ounces. How much batter remains? Ooh. Pretty proud of you, buddy. If that's not correct. You can do that. What do you think of this? Okay, let me show you this, guys. Uh, this is a really good picture problem, too. Please watch. Please watch. I have four cups, so watch what I did. And there's what? One cup. I don't care if you can't draw a cup. I just used to do this because this is the only way I could figure it out. Oh my goodness. All right, now please watch what I'm showing you because I, I think mentally this is the way it should be done. All right, I want everybody to pay attention. Each cup has how many? Eight, Eight ounces. So watch this now. I'm going to throw in an 8 ounce here, I'm going to throw an 8 ounce here, I'm going to throw an 8 ounce here, I'm going to throw an 8 ounce here. Put your hands down. All right, please watch. Shh, shh, no, just listen to me. All right, now, I just used how many ounces? I used five, correct? Hold up a minute. Now, please just look at the picture. So, from here, I pulled out how much? I pulled out how many ounces? Five ounces, right? Please watch, because I, I just think this is simple. If you can draw, it's simple. Visualizing, simple. I just used five ounces. So how much is left here? Three ounces. Three ounces. So if I wanted to, I could say I have exactly, no, I have exactly how many cups? Three cups and three. You're right, though. You're right. 
So I would want you to say I have three cups and what? Three ounces. Or, Bradley, I could just say I have a total of how many ounces? Well, how many ounces did I start with? <coughs> 32 ounces. I started with 32 ounces. Everybody with me? And so if I use five, I mean I have what? 27 ounces left. So those are your choices. Right? I have 20, 27 ounces left. Um, I prefer 27 ounces. But I don't really care. All right. Now, does everybody understand what I'm saying about look how nice the picture makes it? Does everybody agree how simple that is? Right? Very simple. All right? Now let's talk about the next one. All right, so a watermelon, you would say, weighs pounds. Right, a watermelon weighs pounds. LBS. Right, LBS. Pound is LB. Pounds, LBS. It's a very small bird. I would say inches. Right, because um, length is inches. That's okay. Sparrow is a small bird. Is everybody with me? So you'd measure its wing in inches. Well, it doesn't matter. Even if it's kind of a big bird, you wouldn't say, I'm going to use feet, right? Because you might say it's going to be like one or, or half a foot. You would be on that? What? What would be like that, that is, cc is called cubic centimeters, right? Yes. That's, that's, how much, that's how much medicine they're putting in, cubes. And I'll, we're going to explain exactly what uh, length, area, and volume is, and that's a volume. What? Um, for, um, is there anything written by yards that, that's what would be? Square miles. We we can do. Let, let me let me let me just talk about it for a second though. Let's stay with me, okay? Stay with me, because I'm only on which one now? Twelve. So, how much soup did you eat? Oh yeah, that's good actually. You could do cups, a cup of soup, right? And you could also say what? Fluid ounces. That's why I kind of I don't like these questions because it doesn't really matter, right? You just can't say I had three tons of soup. I do inches. Right? You can't say I had three inches of soup. No, like I thought they were talking about like pounds. No, I know. I'm just saying that's what we're trying to discuss. That's that. That's what we're trying to discuss. And that would be a what? Very smart. Capacity. That's exactly right. Okay. So here we go. So um, the height of an office building, we'd probably measure in what? Wait, what? What is this? I I've never really heard of them saying that building is five miles high. Right, I've never heard them say really the the building is twenty or or a hundred yards. I, Normally, yes. it's stories, but actually, stories is instead of saying stories, we say we measure in feet. Now, really big buildings you could measure in yards, but they just we just don't do that. I, I've never heard someone say, "Yeah, that building's about a hundred yards." All right. Generally, we say a floor is about ten feet. Oh, so this is 10 feet. Right, so that's about 10 feet. So for number 12, for number 12? 12, yeah. 12, we have fluid ounces or cups. How tall are you? All right, the height of an office building, you could say, I would prefer you say feet. If you said yards, I wouldn't mark it wrong. All right, I, there's nothing that would be measured in miles right now. We don't have the technology to... to to build miles high. All right, because anybody know why we do not? Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, no. I, I know. What do you think? What would cost? It's the gravity because the gravity is force. Well, that's that's a very good point. Think about all the weight like like the on a single yeah, like on, on a single point. Like but actually, oh. that's not exactly it. It's very costly, and the air pressure. Well, air is the main one. Yeah, you can't breathe. Right, and, and not so much that you couldn't breathe. It's that the wind in the upper atmosphere is very violent. Is 
what I'm saying? Like it, it would sway. That's exactly right. That that's like in, in Japan or in, hey, listen. All right. Or in places where there's a lot of earthquakes, they now make the buildings that can do what? Shake with the ground. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. They're on little uh, yeah, it's shocks. Mm -hmm. And so it just, the it absorbs so it doesn't cause the huge buildings to collapse. But again, the main reason why they don't build up so high is because, believe it or not, the wind is very powerful. And the same thing why you can't travel down, not only the pressure, but also, believe it or not, under the ocean is very violent also. All right, the streams are very fast. All right, so uh, height we would say probably in feet, but if you said yards, I wouldn't quit. I wouldn't care. All right, now here's the thing here: pints. Does anybody remember how many pints are in a quart? Um, I think like four. It's an eight. It is two. Two pints. Um, so there are two pints is equal to one quart. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Yes. Have All right. Yeah. So there, there were, no. So one Here, just come on, let's answer this question. There are 14 quarts. 28 pints is equal to 14 quarts. What? Yeah, that's what we did for 14. Okay. Come on now. Come on. 15. All right. Now, again, practice without looking. How many feet per mile? Uh, 5,280. 5, so if I have 15,840 feet, divide. Thank you. Three miles. Good job. Yep, I agree with you. Okay, does anybody remember how many pounds are in a ton? Oh, 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 so that represents one, two, three, four, five, and a little bit. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Just each ton, 2,000, 2,000. You see what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. So what do I do with 5.4 and 2,000? Oh, yeah, there you go. Multiply it. Oh, so 5.4 times 2,000. Is it, so is it 10,000? 10,800 pounds. 10,800 pounds. Okay. Now, how many inches in a foot? 12. So for every foot, there is 12 inches. So if I have six feet, how many inches is that? 72. 72 inches. I want everybody to write that down. 72. Hold on a minute. 72 inches. Now, if you have a fourth of a foot, three inches. Now, because remember, one-fourth means to divide by four. So 12 divided by four is what? Three. Three. So one-quarter of a foot equals... Three inches. So all together, 75 inches. No. No, because a quarter is referring to feet, not inches. Do you hear me? All right, so let's look at 18. A sculptor has three pound block of clay. He adds 24 ounces of clay to the block in order to make a sculpture. What? Oh, that's three what? Three pound block. I don't know what I was reading. Did everybody see that? Yeah. So a pound has how many ounces? 16. 16 ounces. So if you have three pounds, you have what? Um, no, 48. 48. 48. Good. So you have 
48 ounces to start with. And you add, and you what? Come on. You add 24 ounces. So that gives me 72 ounces. Now, you could leave it at 72 ounces. If you divide by 60, it's 4.5. There you go. Or, if you want, you could say 4.5 what? Pounds. Very good. All right, now let's do the comparison down here. All right. So, uh, again, we're going to find out. You guys are talking now. Let me walk you through it. All right, here we go. We're at six yards compared to 12 feet. Now you can think about football like we did. Every yard has what? Three. Three feet. So if I have six yards, I have 18, 18 feet. Is everybody happy with that? <coughs> so this one is definitely what? Greater than. Greater than. Agreed? Yep. All right. Five pounds. Each pound has? Uh, 16 pounds. So, tell me how many ounces that would be. Equal. We're equal. Because five pounds is? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're equal. If you divide 80 by 60, it's five pounds. There you go. I just did see about 25. Does it matter? Nope. Nope. They are definitely equal. All this right. One is, uh, this one's greater than. Um, I mean, the, I was the, at the less than thing. Like, so, three feet is how many inches? 12. One foot is 12 30, inches. 30, so 18 is what? Less than. Are we happy with that? That's what I meant, Mr. Elch. I know what you meant. Elch. Come on, guys. we got to get it done. All right. Five tons would be how many pounds? Five tons would be 10,000. Oh, 10,000. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, uh, you guys are not answering my question 10, now. 10,000 pounds. That's what I want you to so tell me. So then you tell me that it is less than. Girls, you okay with this? Yeah. All right. You're not saying much. So eight gallons. Eight gallons. Each gallon has how many quarts? Four. Four. So if I have eight gallons, I have I have how many quarts? Thirty-two. So now I know it's what? Greater than. Greater than. It's just so much better, Mr. Trash. All right. Here we go. Six point five cups. Each cup we said had how many ounces? Eight fluid ounces. So if you have six and a half, come on. Yes, six and a half times eight. Don't say anything. Oh. No. I'm always doing it. Equal. Six point five times eight is fifty-two. Does everybody agree? All right, here we go. Uh oh, you should be able to just mentally tell me that. Uh, less than. How many feet in a mile? Uh, oh wait, no. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is. It, the miles are bigger. Right. Or we could say less than. That's what I said at first, but you looked like you, I got it wrong. So, that's right. so you just change your answer. That's not a good strategy. <laughs> All right. How many? Uh oh. How many? Um, two pints. Oh. This no, is a cup, a though. How many cups in a pint? Um, there has to be two. Two cups is in a pint. So if you have 40 cups, that means you have? You have um, 20 pints. No. 20 pints. You with me? Equal. So one pint is equal to one cup? Yes. Oh, I thought it was eight, so I get one cup. 27. Everybody good on that? All right, here we go. Now, this is where we had some issues. One gallon has how many quarts? Um, four. Come on, Thomas. One gallon. So I cross out one gallon, and I make it four quarts. How many pints in a quart? Um, two. So if I have four quarts, I have eight, eight pints. How many cups in a pint? How many cups in a pint? So I would have 16 cups. Now, is everybody okay with what I just did right there? Yes, sir.
All right, you should know that. You should know. All right, cups and quarts and pints and gallons. All right. All right, let's look at 28. One gallon has 16 cups. All right, here we go. Now, the novel 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was written by Jules Verne in 1873. One league is approximately 3.45 miles. So how many miles are in 20,000 leagues? 60, yeah, 69,000. Yeah. Is it exactly 69,000? Well, think about it carefully. If every if one league has 3.45 miles and you have 20,000 of them, that's right. So do 20,000 times 3.45. Be 69,000 miles. 69,000 miles. And you cannot go 69,000 miles under the sea. All right, what do we got? All right, on the average depth, depth, depth of, a, of the Pacific Ocean is 12,925 feet. Is this a mile rounded to inverse tenth of a mile? So what do I have to do? So um, I did um, 12. 12 12,925 divided by yep. 5,280. Very and good. I, very and good. I rounded it to two miles? Well, it says round to the nearest tenth. So what did you get? Take your calculator out real quick. It's, uh, you round it to 2.5. Yeah, it was like 2.4. It's 2.4479. So if, then it would be 2.4. Oh, okay. If it's rounded to the nearest tenth. Is everybody with me on that? Like 2.4. <laughs> come on, come on, stay with me. All right, how much time do we have? Oh, get out in a minute. Okay, that's perfect. Yay, no homework. No homework. I didn't remind you of anything. Hey, is that okay, Thomas, today? No homework. All right, we did all the homework. Don't, don't push it. Don't push it. I was just like.